Now, what is it? Uh, seven minutes, coming up to eight minutes to ten, and the Scots language has officially been recognised by the world's biggest music streaming service, which is Spotify. Folk singer Iona Five campaigned for the change, and we'll hear why in a moment. But first, here she is in action. We hear a gallant catchy dame, I Simpson is her name. For to tell her pedigree, I really would think shame. A high come a do, a high come day, high come a diddle, come a dandy o. She dresses up in Sunday, we had heat up at the level, our teeth had all the ivory that was here. Iona's on the line now. Lovely to, to hear you singing, but tell us a bit about why you started this campaign to take on Spotify. Thanks so much for having me. Well, last December, I released a single, a Scots translation, O oh, the Carol, in the bleak midwinter. And there's a function where you can upload your songs to Spotify and uh, submit them for playlisting. And part of that form, it says, what language is the song in? And I scrolled down and down and down, and Scots was not there. Welsh, Gaelic, Irish Gaelic, Cornish, Manx was there, but our biggest minority language in Scotland, where 1.5 million people speak it, it, it was not there. And I was just shocked. I thought it was a mistake. You know, and I went through a lot of protocol and a lot of emails, a lot of being fobbed off. I thought that as one of our biggest languages, it, it should be there. There's thousands of Scots songs on the platform. And what does that mean in terms of it being there? Does it mean more than just that's a box you can tick on Spotify? D does it give you better access, for example, to promote the, 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 the language and the genre? Increasing the visibility of Scots on any platform increases the fight for a Scots Language Act. We have a Scots dictionary. However, Scots speakers and folk that work in Scots, they might write in Scots, sing in Scots, you know, publish music in Scots and um, there's a lot of clapback on social media with people of a certain political lean and saying it's no a language, it's no a real language, you're uneducated, you're no speaking correct English, you kind of speak properly. Um, every platform that lists Scots and makes Scots visible takes away folks' argument that says, oh, Scots is not a real language. So it's about visibility. And yes, it is, it is a wee box to tick on Spotify, but it's made about promotion of the lead and increasing our visibility. I've been working with an organisation called Our Vice, which means our voice in Scots. And our main aim is to get a Scots Language Act pushed through Parliament to put it on equal fitting we Gaelic and English. And that's really important because as a language that's registered under the European Charter for Minority Languages and is protected under that, it's not actually protected in our own country at well, all. We'd love to hear more Scots, but unfortunately we're right up the end of the programme, mm -hmm. Iona, but it's very nice to talk to you. Thank you very much, Thank Iona. You. Oh, it was lovely hearing a bit of music as well, wasn't it? It's always, always nice. And are you going to deliver the weather in Scots, <laughs> Gillian? Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I think they would have to take us off air. <laughs> the weather's been all right, hasn't it? 